What's going on, my PT peeps? Not walking that family and my fighters. I'm One Eye Bry, also known as PT. You don't know if I'm winking or blinking, but I'm definitely thinking about the trailer breakdown for Tales of the Walking Dead. It's not much, but we have stills from the trailer. We're going to talk about them, break them down, discuss it. Obviously, spoiler warning for all things Walking Dead. If you don't want to know this information, stop watching now. Well, there's a small little teaser trailer on YouTube, and it's kind of cool. We actually get to see some footage from the six different stories of these characters, even though we saw Alpha before. Now, I want to give a shout out to Tales of the Walking Dead photos and facts for this information right here. You can see the different actors list for the characters list. I'm not sure if it's exactly going to be this way, but this is what best we have. So you can see the different actors and the characters that they play. We're going to see Alpha, her more of her backstory in this. And it's kind of cool, but we've already seen it, been there, done that. But ultimately, we get to see these two women inside their apartment. And we know from other teaser trailers that this woman gets bit on the neck. We don't see what happens to the blonde haired woman. And ultimately, if you look inside the apartment behind the blonde haired woman, we see Circle of Trust, which jumps out to me the three rings, the three circles. Now, I don't know if there's going to be connections with the CRM here. It would be awesome if there was a CRM soldier episode. I don't think we're going to get that, but maybe it's season two. We see from the Walking Dead universe. We're going to see a bunch of walkers. I believe this was filmed in Georgia as well. There's going to be six episodes, six different stories. And to be honest, I'm not too worried about these characters, their names, because if they're one and done, I'm not going to get too connected with them, even though we're going to see Danny Ramirez's character. That dude's been everywhere. He's kind of been in a lot of different things with Marvel, now The Walking Dead, which is pretty cool. And I put some of the photos in the trailer. So if you're seeing the trailer and you're like, where are these other photos from? They're other photos. I put two and two together. Now I'm really excited for Anthony Edwards' character because the actor is good. I'm excited to see what's in store for this guy. And I hope they leave it open for season two to return to some of these characters because if it's just one and done, it's a 40, 45 minute long episode and the character is killed off. It's going to suck. We see Olivia Munn and she's going to be with Terry Crews. Not sure if she has someone captured in the net, but she has red in her hat. So I think she's going to die. You know how that goes here. We see a baby goat with Terry Crews. At least I think it's a baby goat, right? It's a baby lamb. How could you get that wrong? I don't know. But ultimately it makes me think of Tabitha, you know, one and done. For animals on The Walking Dead. You don't want to be an animal or a doctor or wear red in the zombie apocalypse in The Walking Dead, that's for sure. But here's another promo photo of Olivia Munn and Terry Crews. And that's what I'm mainly excited about. I'm excited for Terry Crews and Anthony Edwards. I'm kind of excited for all these episodes, but really the Alpha one, we've been there, done that. And we see Alpha most likely with Lydia. And we already seen this, right? We saw it a couple times. So I would have rather seen someone else. Maybe in season two, we get that. I do like Samantha Morton. I think she's a great actress. The alpha character is great, but how much stuff do we need to get of this character? Now we see this location. We knew this location was going to be used. It's a mini mart and the lady's getting a couple guns out of the back of the car. And we knew that this location was going to be used. The rumor was that Tyrese could show up we're still waiting to see if that happens. I doubt they would put that in the trailer to spoil it, and they haven't. One Dead World, we see a camper in the woods. It would be pretty cool to see Dale's RV. I don't think we're going to see that. Or the RV that was used in some way, shape, or Because we don't know the timelines of these episodes. It could be before Alexandria, after Alexandria, Savior's involved or not. We see a woman reaching for something kind of creepy in the smoke and the fog. Is it a walker? Is it a person? Is it one of those new variant cohort walkers? Again, we're going to see Samantha Morton with a knife protecting Lydia and becoming Alpha because she's not Alpha here. She's got hair, but then she buzzed it off in the other episodes. So it's like, is it going to make sense? Because we saw so many different things of Alpha in a couple different seasons. And now we see this. And I haven't seen a person with Jesse T. Usher's character. He plays A-Train on The Boys. We see him by himself with a lantern looking through you know, blinds. And they do like the wounds on the forehead. Yeah, we saw this with Anthony Edwards' character and his. So we see that this woman gets bit on the neck. And she kind of gives herself up to the walkers. So is it trying to be funny? And I just hope it works. If it's trying to be funny or action-packed or what. And we see this woman stab most likely a walker with, is that like a weapon on her hand, like a Merle hand? 
or a spear or a knife or what. I think she's killing the walkers, most likely reaching through the trees or branches or vines or whatever's here. And it could be interesting to see if these characters live. Like I hope a character survives or a couple characters survive so we get to see more of their story. It just kind of sucks to see one and done. That happens on Fear the Walking Dead and it happens on all the shows, but it's like it's kind of played out when a character is just there for one episode, serves their purpose, and then boop, see ya. And in the last part of the trailer, we see Olivia Munn and Terry Crews killing walkers with the baby lamb or goat or whatever it is. And it reminds me of the little bridge that we saw previously on The Walking Dead in season nine, I believe, when the whispers came around. And it looks to be the same filming location. It probably is, there's only so many bridges like that. When Lydia was unmasked by Daryl and Michonne, it looks to be the same location. And I hope there's cool little things like this, callbacks, Easter eggs, I guess foreshadowing. But we know that Tales of the Walking Dead is gonna be on AMC and AMC Plus on August 14th. Now the word is we're gonna get episodes one and two on AMC Plus, but both AMC and AMC Plus will have the first episode on August 14th. So circle of trust, is there gonna be some sort of connecting point with the three rings of the Civic Republic military? I hope so. Probably won't be, right? Is Rick gonna show up? I doubt it. Is this just gonna be filler? Most likely, but is it gonna be entertaining? I hope so. So let me know your thoughts, post your comments below. Hopefully we'll get a little bit more information and at least another trailer or sneak peek at Comic-Con in about a week as I make this video posted. Hopefully we'll find out about this guy very, very soon. Cause like I said, Comic-Con is next week, July 22nd, 2022 is when we're gonna get the Walking Dead panel and Tales of the Walking Dead, their own panels. I hope we get some good information. Thank you guys for watching, supporting the PT channel when you can. Stay safe, and as always, tell them, Daryl. Yeah, we love you.